Jim Shankle is at the annual event for the NWACS, that's the Children's Shelter, and this is their annual event. Well, I'm Kelly Lair, and I actually moved to Arkansas about seven years ago, and I have a, my own marketing consulting company, which is called Channel Pursuits, and we do consulting for primarily high-tech startup companies. When I first came here, looked for an organization, started getting involved in the community and wondering where I could give back, and right away became familiar with the Children's Shelter and the great work that they do, and I just really felt like this was an opportunity for me at a good time in my life to give back. I actually spent a couple of years in Moscow, Russia, and worked with a lot of clients doing food and beverage, but we would have the local orphanages sometimes event, attend our events, and it was very moving to me at the time. I really wasn't able to give back. I was early in my career, so now I feel like it's a good time to actually give back to, to the children that are in the most need. I've seen so many stories. Any particular story that strikes you the time that you've been there, a success story of somebody that's gone through there and been moved as a result? Well, there's actually a child there right now who just came into the shelter who's about 10 years old. They came in at less than a kindergarten level um, from an educational standpoint, cannot read. Has been at the shelter for a couple of weeks, about two and a half, and is already starting to read on a first grade level. So the amount of attention and love and care and support these kids get just enables them to fly. And they're capable of so much if they're given a chance. So why do you think the Children's Shelter has, has captured people's heart to uh, cause them to jump into both volunteer as well as use their resources? I think because you can see such a dramatic difference that when a child comes in and they're these are usually the kids in the worst situations, and there's a chance to intervene in their life. So there's a chance to really assess their total situation, whether it be they've never been to a dentist, or they've never been to a doctor, or they don't know how to read, things like that, and get them a total care plan so that when they do hopefully go off to foster care or back with their own family when that's the appropriate time, that they really know where the child is and where they can really make the the biggest difference. Volunteering is really important itself, but stepping into the board role is even bigger. What have you found to be, as you've gotten into the board, to be different about it, to be in terms of your contribution? First of all, the people that are on the board are so inspiring and in how much they give of their time and, and to be around them and with them, it really inspires me to elevate my game and what I give back from a combination of, I think, time, money, of course, reaching out, trying to get people that maybe don't know about the children's shelter introduced to the children's shelter. The children's shelter actually reaches out beyond just this northwest Arkansas area. Other areas involved, I think, is important. That's excellent. Very good. Uh, do you guys have any questions? I would love to know, um, on average, how many hours a week does a volunteer typically invest I think there are opportunities for everyone. So someone that only has, say, one day a week to come and volunteer, they can do that. Or someone that wants to come for a couple hours every day. They're very flexible and they're very open and accommodating to whatever skill set or talent or ability you have to give. Then working with the Children's Shelter to be able to do that is such a rewarding experience. Yeah.